Right, what's going on guys? It is a spacey and in this video I'm gonna talk about content I would like to see in 2020 and beyond. Basically, I'm gonna be talking about content I would like to see for the remainder of Star Wars Battlefront 2. I don't know how long obviously they're gonna be continuing service for it, but let's get into this video. So currently nine days from now we're gonna be getting the Felucia update. Obviously, we'll be getting Felucia, you know, clone commando, some PvE modes. And then in October to December, we're gonna be getting some appearance challenges and I believe new reinforcements. And December we're gonna be getting episode nine content. So what should we get after that? Here's the thing. I believe after December 2019. 2020 content should, at least for a large portion, be focused on original trilogy content. If you think about it, let's add up all the major DLCs for each era. So for the sequel trilogy, got, you know, the Kray update with Kray, Dakar, Finn, Phasma, and like a few new vehicles. And they're also going to be getting the episode 9 content, which includes a new planet. So the sequel trilogy will be getting three additional planets. The Clone Wars obviously got a bunch of stuff, you know, a whole bunch of reinforcements and heroes, skins, and they also got Geonosis Felucia as well. And the original trilogy has only gotten really Kessel and like a few appearances here and there for like Leia and some additionally smaller stuff. So I believe for at least a good amount of 2019, we should kind of be getting a roadmap similar to the Clone Wars roadmap where they were announcing, you know, the heroes that were coming out and then, you know, all that stuff. So probably from the start of 2020 to at least, you know, maybe four months or five months into the year, I would hopefully like to see if EA and DICE ever added a new planet for, you know, for the original trilogy, um, preferably either Scarif um, or a new Cloud City map. Obviously, the original trilogy did get a Cloud City map for the smaller mode, but no large scale original trilogy map has been made. So either a Cloud City map or um, Scarif for you know the galactic civil war era i'll just say it like that from now on then maybe some new reinforcements along the way few new heroes so basically with just a bunch of original trilogy content as well as some maybe smaller things for the other eras like a anakin appearance challenge or you know ray gets a new like appearance challenge like stuff like that as well another thing that i would like is that and it's a smaller thing but battlefront 2 you know updates their uh, menu it update their menu and just kind of how the menu looks i think they've confirmed they are going to do that so if they do i'll be really happy um but if they haven't i would prefer it just because you know they've updated the menu quite a bit and i feel like they should just do it one more time i would really like it if they did do that now two more key things i would like to see before battlefront 2 finishes it's amazing you know running content like let's before i continue Let's just, like, you know, all be amazed that Battlefront 2's came from a long way from what it was in the beginning. It's basically a, a whole new game um, now, and they're still going to add stuff, which is amazing. Another thing is weapons. I would really like to see new weapons in Battlefront 2, and I really hope that they, you know, add new weapons, or at least use the default weapons in the game and just give them modifications. If you think about it, you know, if they were to make every default weapon a weapon that is unlockable, we would have basically... Half of the weapons we already have now are actually more than half, so that would be amazing. I would also like Starfighter Assault to make a revival or at least add some new maps just because I feel like the two uh, main modes or the three main modes that are really being focused on right now is Galactic Assault, Capital Supremacy, and Heroes vs. Villains. And I'm not even sure if Galactic Assault is going to be getting any future updates like in like currently, I don't see any. So yeah, but Starfighter Assault really deserves to get new maps because that mode is really fun. This mode is pretty unique to Battlefront just because Starfighters are a huge part of Star Wars. So yeah, you can't really find it in another game. So I really hope they add new maps to it. But yeah, the final thing I would really like to see in Battlefront 2 is capital supremacy for other eras. Now, I don't know how many people would like to see it, but I for one would like to see it because um, I don't even care if they add a new mode. If they add the other two eras we have into Capital Supremacy, it will basically make Capital Supremacy a whole new game mode and just kind of make the game way more fun. Because if they add like the original trilogy to Capital Supremacy and have made concept videos for the other two eras and the fun fact, the original trilogy Capital Supremacy video has like 251 views on my channel, which is like the most viewed video on my channel. See, so yeah, if they like, so yeah, if they had original trilogy Capital Supremacy, then think about it. We'll be getting a bunch of new maps in Capital Supremacy. I know they're going to 
most likely be from Galactic Slum. Maybe one or two new maps um, along the way. I would prefer a remade Endor map because I just don't like the current Endor map. But that's just one thing I wanted to bring up. But yeah, we're getting all these maps added into Capital Supremacy. We'll be getting, you know, command posts for these eras. Obviously, the greatest thing of all, we'll be getting, you know, new capital ships. So the First Order Star Destroyer, Imperial Star Destroyer, Mon Calamari Cruiser for the Resistance and Rebellion. That will also be a huge thing. But yeah, guys, that's going to end it off for this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave it a like. I will greatly appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel if you believe in the high ground. But yeah, this has been A Spacey. I'll see you all later. Peace out, everyone.